Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Valinda, I'm a green and happy mom and I'm passionate about teaching you to live as sustainable as possible for you and your family. And if that sounds good to you, hit that subscribe button below and never miss out on my new videos. Today we're talking about PUL and what it is, what it means and what it's used for, its advantages and disadvantages. So what does PUL mean? Well, PUL is obviously an abbreviation. It means polyurethrane laminate. Polyurethrane is a type of polymer, so a polyester, known for its wide variety of uses. And laminate means that this polyurethrane is laminated onto a fabric. It's a substance to make fabric waterproof. When you're cloth diapering, you know that PUL is often used in cloth diaper covers, but it's also used for other mom products like nursing pads or feminine hygiene products. But you can also find it in outdoor gear, in hospitals and even in restaurants. How is PUL made? Well, it's a fusion of two materials, the polyurethane and a fabric. There are two different methods to fuse polyurethane together with a fabric. The first is hot melt, in which a layer of polyurethane is glued onto a fabric using heat activated glue. The other method is solvent lamination in which a single thread or yarn is treated with polyurethane to weave a waterproof fabric. The first method, hot melt, is what's most often used to create PUL. For the creation of PUL often a polyester fabric is used over cotton because um, it's very difficult to make cotton waterproof. Why is that? Well, a single yarn of a polyester fabric can be made extremely thin. While cotton, yes, you can make it thinner, but it comes at a cost. It's no longer sturdy. When you have really, really thin threads of cotton, your cotton material can easily break. So there's a limit of how thin a cotton yarn can be made. Polyester yarn can be made much thinner. And because it's much thinner, the resulting fabric has a much higher density and it is easier to laminate and creating a waterproof material. And the resulting PUL fabric is soft yet sturdy and will not frail and it will last you for years. PUL, what is it? Well, it comes in a lot of colors. But this is black and black clear black shows the best which side has been treated or laminated in this case and which one hasn't. This one, this side hasn't and this side has clearly shown for white. For white this is much harder to detect. This side is untreated, this side is treated. It looks more clear because this side is a little bit see-through. Now this side is treated and this side is not. It's... I've been doing this for a while. I can see it immediately, immediately if, it's, if one side is treated or not. For white it's difficult, but when you look up close... I don't know if it's clear, but up close you can see that the treated side, this side, is a bit shiny. Or the untreated side is matte. I don't know if it shows on camera, but at least this way you can see. What is PUL used for? Well, I already mentioned it's used for cloth diapers and other products that are worn close to the skin, like feminine hygiene products, nursing pads, stuff like that. Why is that? Well, because it's waterproof, but it's also breathable, making it great to wear against your skin. And because it's breathable and waterproof, it's also great for outdoor gear. A jacket made with PUL will protect you from rain, but it also keeps your body cool because air can pass through the fabric. PUL is also used in hospitals. And then mainly for mattress covers, mattress protectors and other medical bedding. Because uh, yes, it's also breathable and waterproof, which is great. But PUL can also be sterilized and can be bleached if you want. It's used in restaurants because PUL is easily cleaned. You just have to wipe it off and then your fabric is good to go again. 
what is eco pol if you heard of pol before you also heard of eco pol before but maybe you don't know the difference well eco pol is made with renewable resources what does that mean well polyurethane is normally made with petroleum while in eco pol the polyurethane is made from renewable resources also the glue they used to laminate the pol onto the fabric is made from eco-friendly sources. Products made with eco-pol are safe to use against your skin and to use around your food. So what are the pros and cons of pol? Well, I mentioned it several times. The advantages of pol is that it's waterproof, it's breathable, it's soft, it's a great wind barrier, it's easy to clean, it can be sterilized, it's stretchy, it's soft, flexible and small holes that somehow end up in POL can easily be fixed using heat. And POL comes in a great variety of colors and prints. But there are also some disadvantages of POL and the most important one to me is that it is plastic. POL can also easily disintegrate when you've kept it in water for too long or if you have been using it for a lot it also wears out and the PUL layer or the polyurethane layer will disintegrate from the fabric. So what does disintegrated or releasing pole look like? Well, here I have a wet bag. Nothing special to be seen from the outside, but, and this is an extreme case. Here you can clearly see that the layer of PUL has completely come loose from the fabric. Polyurethane layer is still intact. There are no holes in there, but it's no longer stuck to the fabric. It also wasn't used for waterproof products. It was used for sandwiches. So even if it was leaking, it wasn't really a big problem. It actually is still in use. It just looks a bit funny. If you're using cloth diapers and your cover looks like this from the inside, it will probably be leaking because, well, it's... I don't see any holes, but that doesn't mean that there are no holes. If your cover looks like this, it's probably done for and probably leaking. Another disadvantage is that wet POL is not easy to handle. It will stick to itself. It feels icky, but that's only when it's wet. It's not wet that often. It's only annoying to work with when you recently washed it. So it's a disadvantage, but not a big one. Another thing to keep in mind when washing PUL is that it doesn't like fabric softener and the waterproof layer might be affected when you use a dryer on PUL products often. Like I said with the pros, small holes can be easily fixed with heat. This also means that heat, a lot of heat, can destroy PUL. Also something you have to keep in mind, so no ironing PUL. So I hope this gave you a little bit of better idea of what PUL is and what it's used for. Do you own products with PUL? Let me know in the comments down below. Thank you so much for watching guys. If you liked it, please give it a thumbs up and I hope to see you next time. Bye guys.